good morning. Welcome to my vlog. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me, especially for all the people who are returning. And a special welcome also to all the newcomers. Today is going to be a great day. It's, it's the start of a new week. And not only that, but it's also sunny. As you can tell, it's much better weather out there. <laughs> it doesn't really look much different from the snowy and sunny weather that we've had. But this is going to be the warmest day that we've had in like four or five days. I'm feeling great. Part of me feels not so great because I slept in like two hours longer than I I really wanted to, but my body is thanking me for it. As you can tell, I sound a little bit probably sick, but honestly, I feel alright. I, I feel about 90% right now because, I mean, my back is a little bit sore for some reason. I guess I slept weird, but I'm feeling pretty good. So, I'm gonna be making breakfast. I'm gonna go and get things done, and then I'm gonna head off to work because I'm gonna be pounding today. I got a lot of stuff to do because I'm leaving in a couple days. Hopefully, I can get everything done because there's a lot to do. And I, again, want to say thank you guys for joining me. I hope everyone has a wonderful morning, wonderful Monday. I didn't mention it to you uh, this morning, but happy Coffee Monday. Thank Thanks to Benji and Judy over at Is Judy's Life and Is Judy Time for providing this shirt. That is, every Monday is the day to drink coffee. It's not National Coffee Day or anything like that. I mean, wouldn't that be great if every Monday was National Coffee Day? But I think that everybody drinks coffee on Monday, except for the people who don't like coffee. So, and that was a lot of words. <laughs> so anyway, we just got home from work, went to Starbucks, went to Walmart, and gotten just about everything done so far that I wanted to do today so far. I've got a lot to do, and I'm finally going to the gym for the first time since Thursday. Our Gold's Gym is finally open today. They've been closed all weekend because of the snow so I'm like thank god because I'm, I'm missing my gym time and I really want to get back to it got a friend Andrew who's gonna be coming in he's gonna be driving down in the next couple days just to meet me before we leave for Florida I'm planning on taking him on just a grand journey through weightlifting and stuff because he's been out of it for a little while I'm hoping to build him up and everything because we're gonna be visiting parks and stuff down there so gotta have that pump before you hit the park we are about halfway through this day I'm gonna be taking a little nap here before we go to the gym, before I eat dinner and everything. So hopefully I can stay on track and everything, get things done. It's been in a lot better weather today. Warmer today. Patrick, my roommate, cleared out from the driveway and I'd show you guys, but sorry, I just got a text from work. We had a four hour delay today. It was crazy. We've never had that long of a delay. We didn't open until like 12, but I got there 9.45ish. Walked around for a little while because none of the doors were open. And so finally one of my coworkers came by and he opened up the doors for us. I was like, let me get there a couple hours before we actually open so I can get my stuff done first and then take on whatever new requests come in. Because if you're in IT, you can vouch for me. Getting there early and getting your own stuff done before the requests really start piling on again is a wonderful thing. Get in there, get crap done, and you're like, let's start with this freaking day. I don't know if I mentioned to you guys, but Gold's Gym is closing for good in Lynchburg by the end of the month, unless someone buys it. We've had a deal with Kinetics, which is another gym that's actually open 24 hours, unlike our Gold's here. They are offering a discounted deal and also two weeks free sessions like visiting and everything for newcomers from Gold's Gym. Basically Meg and I went to go check it out last night. I thought we were going to go work out there but we didn't. We drove up to it and we looked through the windows and stuff to, just even driving through because you can see everything in it and it's like I would say 60% cardio machines. <laughs> There's so much cardio there. Not a lot of free weights. Several machines and stuff there. A lot of machines. But it was like, I don't know how we're going to do it with this. But I'm thinking maybe we give it a shot. And then if we don't like it, then we're going to have to like look into other options. There are not a lot of good gym options in Lynchburg, like I've mentioned before. So we're going to see what happens. But I'm just excited because over the next couple days, I'm going to be packing and getting ready for this big trip. Hopefully, I can get things out of the way and stay ahead of my schedule. And I also found out that Macy's did keep me on and it wasn't just me apparently a lot of store tons of macy stores around the country have been cutting employees because they had to close like 250 stores last year then they closed a lot more at the beginning of this year of 2016 they had to cut a lot of people none of the seasonal employees stayed on i was told that i was one of the few that, that they wanted to actually keep on but they actually liked me and they were impressed they really liked having me on so i was there for a couple months it was kind of like crud because I really liked working there, as you guys know. I really enjoyed working at Macy's. It was a refresher from IT. Not that I don't like IT, obviously I love being in IT, it's my industry, but Macy's was kind of like a whole different perspective of things because I was dealing with people more than computers. I enjoyed that a lot, but I'm gonna be looking out for other opportunities. See what's available. They said to go ahead and apply again in the near future, just, you know, see if they're hiring again, whatever, but I'm like, I don't know, maybe Macy's is gonna be like a future for me or not. So I'm gonna 
I'd be looking for other opportunities elsewhere, maybe. I'm not sure yet. I've got a lot on my plate, but I'd rather this than not have anything going on in my life. I'm back. Back from the gym. Back from a great workout. It was wonderful. And my brother John is actually back from his trip up to Charlottesville because he was clearing snow with, I guess, like a small company up there or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, we just got back and got to work out with my other brother Jason for the first time in probably a week or so. He was loving it. It's, if he's been out of it for a while just because he's a track athlete. He's a pole vaulter. Uh, I guess he's, he's been told that it's bad to do weightlifting and track at the same time because you don't want to get too big or too heavy. And I'm like, all the guys that he works with as far as track stuff and pole vaulting, most of the people that do better than him are bigger than him. He was doing really well. Last year was his first year. I don't mean to go off on a tangent here or whatever, but just long story short, he made it to nationals last year. It was his first year and he was doing both weightlifting and pole vaulting. This year he hasn't done as much weightlifting and he hasn't been doing as good, so I'm like, come on, you know, I'm gonna finish up editing with this vlog, and I'm gonna be continuing packing for my Florida trip. I gotta be clear enough some space for my phone. You guys probably know the struggle of not having enough storage space on the phones. You get that notification, like, storage space needs to be cleared up, and it's like, I've seen it, you know, and it keeps on coming up, so I've gotten that multiple times over the last several months. I am gonna be doing that, and downing this protein shake, thanks to Optimum Nutrition Serious Mass. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, it's just I enjoy it so much, and the chocolate flavor is the bomb. Before I leave, before I'm done, I want to wish everyone a happy Green Juice Day tomorrow, Tuesday, which is when you're actually going to be watching this most likely. That's when this video is going to be posted. I mentioned that specifically because the people that I mentioned earlier, Benji and Judy, who provided the Toffee Monday shirts that I wear, they are the ones who have made an even bigger name, I guess you could say, for Green Juice. So, happy Green Juice Day, National Green Juice Day, and everyone, I uh, hope you have a great night. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.